Hey everyone, it's Tom, WA2IVD. It is Tuesday, April 2nd, 2024, as I'm recording this. In six days, there is going to be a total solar eclipse. The eclipse is going to hit land at Mazatlan, Mexico. It's going to sweep across Mexico and enter the United States in South Texas. And then it's going to sweep across through the central United States to the northeast and exit the United States at the state of Maine. And on its path, it's also going to touch parts of the provinces of Ontario, Quebec, New Brunswick, Prince Edward Island, and St. John's in Canada. The sun finally came out here about an hour ago after a cloudy, rainy day in Kansas. I'm really hoping that the weather is going to be a little bit better next Monday, at least in southeast Missouri. My wife and I are going to be traveling to Donovan, Missouri this weekend, which is near the center of the total eclipse path. Totality is going to start just before 2 p.m. local time and last for about four minutes there, so we're hoping that we get a really good view of the eclipse. Even if you don't have much interest in it, I'd like to encourage all of you to participate in the eclipse in some way. A total solar eclipse like this is pretty much a once-in-a-lifetime event for any particular spot on the planet. The next total solar eclipse that's going to go across the contiguous 48 states isn't going to happen for another 21 years. If you are going to observe the eclipse, please make sure you do it safely. There are many resources on the internet for pinhole projectors that you can make. There's glasses that you can buy and there are all kinds of solar filters. Just make sure you check authoritative websites for the proper filters to use for viewing or photographing the sun at any time, whether it's an eclipse or not. If you do plan to travel to see the eclipse, make sure you check highway websites and government websites in the areas that you're traveling to. You've probably seen this on the news already, but many areas that are along the path of totality have already declared states of emergency because of the number of people they're expecting to show up for this. My son and I traveled to Hiawatha, Kansas in 2017 for the total eclipse. And that's a very small town in northeast Kansas. And after the eclipse was over, all of the main roads going out of Hiawatha were bumper to bumper with traffic that looked like downtown Los Angeles. So. Be careful and look for the correct routes to use. Whether you plan to travel to see the eclipse in person or not, you can collect real science data that's going to be useful through ham radio. The group hamsci.org is going to be collecting data from ham operators all over the world around the time of the eclipse to study how the eclipse affects the ionosphere and ionospheric propagation. They're going to be looking for data from stations that are on or near the path of totality and also other stations that are far away from the eclipse to help correlate how the ionosphere is, is affecting propagation. Probably the most familiar ham radio type event is going to be the Solar Eclipse QSO party. This is going to be a contest type format that's going to be on phone, CW, and data. And it's open to pretty much any stations anywhere. The only thing that they don't have any provision for in this contest is mobile or rover type stations. And that's because they need to have the data from each station be from one single fixed location so they can correlate how the ionosphere or the propagation is changing from each location over the entire time of the eclipse. You can find all the rules for the QSO party on the hamsci.org website. I've got a link for that in the description. In addition to the QSO party, they've got a signal spotting challenge and several other experiments that are going to be going on. Again, check their website for details on all of that. I'm planning to work the QSO party from the location that we're going to be at, so maybe I'll catch some of you on the air. Although, right around the time of totality, I'm probably going to be spending most of my time watching and photographing the eclipse. Even if you can't or don't want to travel to be on the eclipse path, there are going to be multiple sites online that are going to be streaming the event, so you'll be able to watch it live, at least online. And again, you can participate through ham radio. However you decide to participate, have fun and be safe. That's all I've got for this time. I just wanted to get the message out, although 
you probably have to be living under a rock if you haven't heard that the eclipse is coming because it's pretty much captivated the news here, at least for the last couple of weeks. But I wanted to make sure I encouraged you all to participate. Maybe I'll catch some of you on the air. And as always, thanks for watching. I'm Tom, WA2IVD, and this is Ham Radio A to Z. Yeah. <laughs>